In this session, we'll be discussing the details about cyanobacteria. Now, cyanobacteria are also called blue-green algae. Now, don't confuse with the name called algae, and algae are the member of plantae kingdom. But cyanobacteria or blue-green algae are not the members of plantae group. They are the members of kingdom Monera. Now, when you talk about kingdom Monera, so they will have to be prokaryotes. So, cyanobacteria are basically prokaryotes. They are gram-negative. I've already told you about gram-staining. And the cyanobacteria, they belong to the group of gram-negative bacteria. They are photosynthetic. So when there were some bacteria, I've told you about green sulfur bacteria, green non-sulfur, purple sulfur, purple non-sulfur bacteria. They were also phototrophic. And even the cyanobacteria are photosynthetic or phototrophic means they can synthesize their food. And for the synthesis of food, cyanobacteria does not have chloroplast. Now, because the chloroplast is present in higher plants and chloroplast has the chlorophyll and that traps the light and converts the light energy to the chemical energy and this chemical energy is used by CO2 molecule to convert it into glucose. Now what happens during cyanobacteria because they will also have to do the same but cyanobacteria resembles with higher plants in having the chlorophyll A in their body. Now, chlorophyll was not present in bacteria. If you remember, photosynthetic bacteria were not having chlorophyll. The chlorophyll was bacterial chlorophyll that time. But here you have the similarity with higher plants that they have chlorophyll A molecule which traps the light. If you also remember in photosynthetic bacteria, the bacteria was never taking water as a source of electron. So when CO2 was not reacting with water, the oxygen was not coming as a byproduct and that particular what you call photosynthesis was an oxygenic photosynthesis but for the first time i mean called cyanobacteria will be reacting with water and when they will be reacting with water the oxygen will be, will be coming as a byproduct and thus this particular photosynthesis is called oxygenic photosynthesis so always remember they are the form those uh, have evolved the oxygen for the first time the cell wall, because they are prokaryote and they are the monera members, so cell wall will be naturally made up of what you call peptidoglycans. They are basically fresh water, but you can find them in marine water even. Now, one very important cyanobacteria, which is called Trichotasmium erythrium, it is the main cause of Red Sea. The Red Sea, the color of Red Sea is because of the presence of a lot of Trichotasmium erythrium. Now, remember, there are two concepts. Red sea and red tide. So red sea is because of a cyanobacteria and red tide is because of a protista member that I'll be detailing you about later on. But always remember Trichodesmia erythrium, which is a cyanobacteria is the cause of red sea. When you talk about cyanobacteria since they are the prokaryote member and prokaryotes are unicellular the cyanobacteria can be unicellular like spirulina. But they can also sit in colonies they can club them together and sit in some spherical colonies like an amoeba. They can also form filamentous structure and the filamentous structures occur in nostoc. I've already told you that they have got the similarity of uh, what you call chlorophyll with higher plants. And remember this very important fact that they do not have flagellum. They don't have flagella throughout their life cycle. Bacteria can have flagella but cyanobacteria will not be having flagella throughout their life cycle. Now in next session we'll be detailing you about the structure of cyanobacteria.